is adjusted properly. It's got the right amount of free play in it. Um, but when you go to put it in gear, take the parking brake off and put it in gear, it, it grinds really bad. So that's awful hard on stuff. So we know that the clutch is working properly because it's not pulling when you push the clutch in. So that means that the clutch brake itself um, is not stopping the flywheel from turning when the clutch is engaged. So here's the linkage that controls the clutch brake and we've adjusted it. You can see we've adjusted it way down so that its brake itself must be gone. So uh, we're gonna uh, drain the oil out here with a plug just in, the, in this cavity here. So there's gonna be some hydraulic oil that comes out and then we're gonna pop this bottom plate off with all these bolts here that round the bottom. That's what's connected right here. This is, there's gonna be a little um, piece of metal there with a, with a little brake pad on it. That'll be under that housing. And we're gonna have to replace that. So we unhooked the linkage here, and then we took all the little bolts out on the bottom. They're all right here. So we're about ready to take the actual pan down. Let's see what we're working with here. So that's what it looks like. And it's just hanging up a little bit on the back side. So I gotta use my other hand here and we'll pop it all the way off. So right away I see our problem. Here's the disc that's supposed to be on the actual brake and it came apart. So we can see what's going on here. This was trying to stop a clutch from spinning, but obviously there's no brake on it. So that was our problem. Here's the new part here. It's a 198-1317C1. And you can see that the clutch it's, or the brake itself is on there. I don't know why this one came off. We use high trans, but you can see what's going on. It was grinding there. So we got the new one. We got to take the get this one off that shaft. Looks like there's a key in it, and put the new one on. There's a sir clip on here that's got to come off first. So we'll take that off with our professional tools here, and then we'll see what happens. We got that clip out, but this this shaft still won't slide out. But I see there's just a little pin down in there, I'm guessing, having never done this before. And I got this cow magnet, and we're going to see if we can just uh, pick that out of there. Maybe it'll come right out. And then maybe that shaft, there it is. Look at that. That's a cool design. So the magnet just pulled that right up, so I got to remember to put that back in. So I'm guessing that shaft will slide out of there now. So there's the pin and I got my magnet. Better keep those two together so I don't lose that little deal. There we go. Let's just see if this little shaft will slide now. Yeah, not as easy as I was hoping for. Oh yeah, she's gonna come right out of there. So I'm gonna use my other hand and we'll take that apart. So there's a little O-ring that stops it from leaking and you can see kind of how this is gonna go so it just slides right out of there. And we'll get pull this piece off the shaft and we'll slide the new one on with the brake on it. So we're holding this end and you can see the keyway and we just tap on it and it's coming right off of that shaft. Everything's been full of oil so it everything's nice and lubricated. So it comes right off, you can see the keyway right there. So we slid the new one right on there real easy and you can see that that clip stops it there and then that little pin we used drop straight down on that groove. So we're gonna put that in. I'm gonna put the clip in first. This is all put back together. The pin's in, the clip's in. I just wanna look up under there to see what, what we're looking at, how this works. So you can see that, that all that does is rub on the gear there, right up against the side of the gear, that brake does. That's makes that's how she stops from spinning so you can change the gears you got the plug back in and we got our, got the cover back on here so i just wanted to take a little step back to show you where this is at on the tractor it's on the right side there it is and that's the plate that needed to come off so anyway uh, we can see that now it's adjusted way too far out so you grab a three-quarter wrench take the jam nut loose and then we'll spin the 
spin the uh, clevis back up, probably pretty close to where it was, where the paints wore off there. So then we should be back in business. So it's adjusted back up and you, we just adjust it to the point where you can just get the pin in. You don't want to push in too hard on there because uh, when you push the clutch in, this will move obviously. So we'll just adjust it so that you can get the pin in and not any further. We filled it back full of oil. Well, we're gonna try it now. Let's see, oh yeah, no grinding whatsoever. Good deal. Shifting's real good, nice and solid. No grinding. We got her fixed. Hopefully this was helpful. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button below. And if you want to see more videos like this come up in your feed, please subscribe to our channel. And uh, if you want to find out when our next video comes out every week, hit that notification bell below and uh, that'll send you a notification when our next video comes out, which we try to send them out every week. Thanks a lot for learning more about our farm and we sure appreciate it.